Hey guys, welcome to Powerline. I'm your host Skynet, and today I have another top 10 for you guys. And for this top 10, we are doing demons. That's right, demons. The, um, a lot of these cards end up in a lot of different clans, uh, but you won't see them in some clans, like Angel Feathers, because reasons. And then the reason why I chose this one is because the counterpart to this one is actually going to be Angels which is going to be featured in Done Another Time. So without further ado, uh, let's get into this. But just a quick disclaimer for all this. The top 10 is going to be solely based on art and not effects or grade or whatsoever. It is strictly art. Because we know that Sky Knight here plays the game strictly for the looks of the cards and not so much for the abilities as some people would attest to but I'm okay with it so just remember guys this is an opinion based top 10 and strictly just for card arts not flavor text or maybe flavor text just a little bit but n nothing about their abilities or lack thereof so as a quick honorable mention because I had to put it up there I didn't really think the card art was so f amazing but I guess if you want to call it 11 or honorable mention it would be endless boozer from dark irregulars this card is hilarious absolutely hilarious i i love this card <laughs> and just everything that it stands for all right that aside my number 10 slot is cyclone johnny from spike brothers now the reason why i chose this card is the background the background of this card is actually really amazing now we all know that you know spike brothers is based around american football or rugby depending on how you look at it so, so when you look at it, you see the field, in the, you see the field, and you see the stands in the back, and you see Cyclone Johnny running. Now, for most of the Spike Brothers cards, it, you don't really see that. It's on, it's on some of the cards more of the newer cards, but for set sixteen, a, a lot of the background was placed for for Spike for Spike Brothers, and, and I think this is just an excellent card because you see this guy just in motion, running through. Uh, the field and, and it's just a really good card in the way that it's depicted within the art so I really like Cyclone Johnny and that's why he's my number 10 spot for my number 9 spot is Cyber Beast from Dark Irregulars now this card caught me off guard because I thought it was going to be like a mechanical beast like like the ones from Link Joker you know, I, I mean, Link Joker wasn't really around yet at that point, but I thought it, you know, what it was, what it was gonna be, and then what it is, two different things. To see a wolf type animal just chomping down on this dull computer, I think it's hilarious. I think it's absolutely hilarious, and and that's one of the reasons why I like this card, just because it is completely random, <laughs> cyber beast. I'm gonna have this little wolf dog thingy just like biting down on this Dell computer. Oh my goodness. What would make this even more hilarious if Internet Explorer was like up on the screen? Or like Facebook or, or, or MySpace. Something. Just some program you could be visibly seen on that. For my number eight spot, I have Stealth Rogue of Night, Agitomaru. Now, I, I was. I had a hard time picking this spot. Because there was another Nubatama card that I really did like, but I ultimately chose this card on the grounds of how this card how this card looks in terms of the actual person in the, in the art. He's falling. He's falling and throwing these kunais out, and I think I think it looks really artistical in my opinion, and and just it's not just a guy just standing there and doing some cool pose and, and looking suave. Or whatever it's it's an emotion just kind of like cyber johnny how the card is the card looks like it's in motion and i have to say nubatama has some great backgrounds as i was looking through all the cards nubatama has some great great backgrounds so moving on to my number seven slot would be witch doctor of powerful bone negro bone and now I, on principle, was not gonna choose any of the Negro sub whatevers, just on principle. But looking past that, the card art for Bone is so good, and the single rare 
foiling process actually helps this card because at first glance it looks like it's raining in the background just with the background aside from the person in the picture is it's dark and you see the water bubbles coming from the, each of the books so it looks like it's raining and the the foiling process helps give it that look which I really do enjoy and and she or he doesn't you know doesn't look so bad as all but I think the overall aesthetics from the background looks amazing and that's why this card is my number seven slot going to the number six slot is sacrilege revenger bow birth now this one was a very interesting choice for me because I don't really play shadow paladins I mean you guys saw me play that one uh, deck against my buddy's gear chronicle deck I think it was and that didn't go so well however this card is awesome. The giant electro scythe thing that, that this horseman is holding, amazing. And, and it's just one of those powerful, like, here's his great shot, bam! And and you've got a winner. It's, it's not so much that it's in motion, but more of this is a single great shot with the background looking really, really good. It reminds me of, like, one of the four horsemen of apocalypses. So that's why this is my number six slot. My number five slot is Illegal Alchemist from Shadow Paladins. This one's a guilty pleasure of mine. This one absolutely is a guilty pleasure of mine. I think this card looks fantastic. If anyone knows me, they know why I chose this card. I think this guy just chilling out in, in his seat in the background with, with all the stuff going on and him just holding his hand this little uh, vile orb, I don't say orb, this vile contraption thing is actually really really it's just a nice you know pose shot which you know if you're gonna have a pose shot then I think you need to have stuff in the background to extenuate extenuate to enhance the shot I think it's it's an act an an excellent shot because if you're gonna have a pose shot the background needs to make help make it good which is what this card does and I also do like the the details on the guy's chest with the markings I think this is good you know and I was wondering when I saw this card I'm like this looks more like a succubus but then I have to remember succubuses are primarily w women so I don't know what a male counterpart to a succubus would be because females can also be demons so I'm not really sure or unless women females can't be demons and that's why they're succubuses i don't i'm not really 100 percent sure that's something i may have to do homework on but great card that's my number five five slot so my number four slot is knowledge drunk card from darker regulars hiya this card i think this card is excellent and the focus is actually on the wolf demon thing and not the guy getting drained however the way that the card is portrayed with him stealing his powers I think is excellent because it portrays something that demons do they're not all like total destruction but more of stealing from those that they've made packs with so this I actually do like this card the flavor text is is awesome take pride your knowledge is the best liquor like it, it's just really really good this guy is striving for power and, and the background is just so subtle. It looks like an alleyway or inside a hallway of a building. This card is, is excellent. Excellent, excellent. This is my number four slot. My number three slot is Stealth Rogue of the Night, Sakura Fubuki. Ooh, I almost messed that up. As I said, Nubatama has some of the best art. Um, it, It's such a classy shot with the flowers and the moon in the moon in the back with this guy just holding up his uh sword looking like he's just ready to to go to town on somebody or, or dropping in on someone again as i said if you're gonna have a shot where the person's not in motion you gotta make the background to enhance the shot and i think this card shows it excellently um i, I had a I actually had a hard time choosing b between number three and number four i was going back and forth between this and knowledge drunk card and it was just i ended up just choosing this because i love the background i absolutely love the full moon with the flowers and this guy's was drawn pretty well so <clears throat> my number three slot 
um, number two slot, I should say, is Brawler, Headband of Greed. Oh my god. When I instantly saw this from Narukami, I was like, I didn't think I'd find a really good Narukami card. But oh my god, this guy is such a boss. You see this powerful stance with the two guys in the back? Looks like a gang leader. It, it is just straight power. This guy just exudes straight power. And and this subtle touches of this guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a brawler. Yeah, he's a demon. But his pants has a lightning bolt on it, signifying that he is from Narukami. It, it, it's just such an awesome, awesome card. And the pose is just so powerful that I had to this if my number one if my number one slot wasn't so good, this would have been it. And for my number one slot, if anyone knows me, and if they would know that it would be General Seyfried from Spike Brothers. That's right, the OG himself. I thought he was a, a battle royal at first, but then I read the card and he was a demon and I fell in love even harder. And, and most people are like, Sky, why do you like this card? It, the art is so simple. And you know, for a card that came out in set two, this is straight power. Like they had, they had time to work on on the, on all the other cards that, that have come out after this, but this dude is just such a powerful stance, with his with his hand held forward just a little bit, just like, I got this, I got this, and 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 one of the things that that I've always, always done when I play this card, and I never really said his full name. I was like, the general, because that's what he is, the general. Oh my god, I, I love this card, and I always bring... Whenever you saw some of the retro battles, if I've been playing Spike Brothers, I am always playing this guy, because he is the best. Not so much... Like, his ability is okay, but it it's just... His card is just so awesome. And I actually own one SP of this, and I'm probably going to go get another three copies of it, just because I love General Seyfried. I absolutely love General Seyfried. So guys, that's it. I've taken enough of your time. That's my top 10 with Safery being on top. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it in the comment section below. If you have a better idea of what a demon is, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys later.